hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be adding sprinting to our player okay for sprinting first of all we need to set up the button so in the controls folder let's open up the player controls right here we need to add another action map let's name this as player actions then in here rename this new action to b okay in here select the first binding and first of all we will select the button east of the game pad okay and then in order to sprint using keyboard we will add the shift key of the keyboard okay so now we have the button set up click on this cross sign click save to save the button then let's go ahead and open up the input manager script to read the shift button or the button east of the gamepad all right in order to read it what we're gonna do right here first of all is we will create a input button flag header and under this we will create a bool by the name of p input then in order to read it right here what we're gonna do we're gonna say player controls dot the action map name is player actions and then the action name is b and when it is performed then what it means that when it is pressed then what we're gonna do we're gonna say i equals to greater than b input we will set the b input to true whenever we press the shift key or the button east of the gamepad okay whenever we hold it it will set the b input to true and when we stop holding it so for that we use the dot cancelled word okay instead of dot performed we type dot cancelled and when it is cancelled we will set it to false so in this way we will be able to read the sprinting button okay now after this what we're gonna do is right after this handle movement input we will create a method for it in order to handle this input now so we will say private void handle sprinting input all right and in here we can now handle it but first of all we need to do some changes on the other script okay so for that let's open up now the player movement script all right and on the player movement script what we're gonna do now we're gonna scroll up right here change this from movement speed to walking speed then copy it paste it right down below change this now to running speed and by default set it to 5 All right once you do this right down below create a header by the name of movement flags and in here create a bool public bool by the name of is moving and then another bool by the name of is running all right then in the handle movement right here when we set the move direction to the move direction and multiply that by the movement speed okay for now we don't have movement speed so we will be removing that but what we're gonna do first of all we're gonna say at the top that if the is running gets true then what we want to do if the player is running then we want to multiply it by the running speed all right else if the uh, is running is false or it means that if the is moving is true so what we're gonna do in that case first of all we will say if input manager dot move amount is greater than 0 0.5 f it means that if the player is moving then the move direction will be equals to move direction multiplied by the walking speed all right if the player is moving and also we will set the is moving to true and if the player is not moving then 
we will not move the player and we will set the is moving to false that is all we have to do right here then of course as you know that when the player is moving we want to play the moving animation and when the player is running we want to play the running animation so for that open up the animator manager script right here we need to play the appropriate uh, uh, animations but first of all get back right here click on player then animator then double click on the movement blend tree select this blend tree right here in the motions we have idle walking running so change the position y of the running to 2 okay so when this vertical becomes 2 then it means that the player is running and we will it will play the running animations like this or else the player will be walking or not walking okay so now right here i will tell you how we can do that now so right here where this uh, snapped vertical region ends at a space all right and also what we will be doing is right here to this update anim values uh, we will be adding another parameter which will be of type pool by the name of a sprinting and when you add that then right down below we will say that if this is printing is true okay it means that the player is running now so snapped horizontal will be equals to horizontal movement and then the snapped vertical will be equals to 2 that is all we have to do so now as you know that this uh, method now requires another parameter which will be sprinting so in the input manager right here as you can see we uh, call that method update nm values we add the horizontal vertical movement right there but now for the pool what we're gonna do we're gonna use the player movement is running so if this is true then it means that this is printing will be true and if it is true it will play the animation and also we will allow the player to sprint but we will do that right here uh, okay so uh, as you know that this is running is right here on the player movement so at the top let's make a reference to player movement script All right, player movement is attached to the same game object so player movement will be equals to get component player movement all right once we have that then player movement dot is running that's it then right here in the handle sprinting we will say if the b input button is pressed and the move amount is greater than 0 0.5 then the player movement will dot is running will be equals to true it means that yes now the player wants to run or else if we are not pressing the button then it means the player is not running so player movement dot is running it is not actually is moving it is is running so is running this time will get false all right that is all we have to do for sprinting right here make sure that you add a semicolon at the end and make this move amount public because we are using this move amount right here on our player movement script okay if we check line 47 right here as you can see we are using this move amount okay so make sure that you make it public that is all you have to do then you can just get back right here we have the input everything set up let's play the game when the game starts as you can see the player is now walking instead of running and when we hold down shift key okay the player is not running but if you notice right here the b input is true so let me see why the player is not running and i think i know that the reason behind this is because we created this handle sprinting input and we didn't call it in here
so make sure that you call that in there so that the method is executed whenever we play the game all right now the player is walking if you hold down the shift key the player is running as you can see and now the player is walking if you check it on our controller the player is walking if i press the b key on my xbox controller as you can see the player is running perfectly fine okay as you can see so we have a fully functional third person character controller set up as you can see and the next thing which we want to do is to add a camera controller so that the camera can follow our player character around in the environment okay so in the next video we will be doing that